Hi Deathlings, it's Caitlin. This has been one of my most requested makeup looks, the Toxic White. This is a lead-based look, perfect for spring. You could definitely wear this every day, but it's also easy to zhuzh up for nighttime with some mercuric sulfide or a few drops of belladonna. Let's get to it. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is prime our face because we're gonna be using so much foundation. So much foundation. Today, I'm gonna to be using Venetian Ceruse's Full Coverage White Lead-Based Foundation Stick. Not sponsored, unfortunately, I wish. Sponsor me, lead-based cosmetics. Big inspiration for this look is Queen Elizabeth I. She's great, you should check out her channel. Legend has it that she also loved using Venetian Ceruse to achieve her deathly pallor and rarely took her makeup off. I know that some of you are concerned about ingredients like mercury and arsenic and most commonly lead, but I love, love, love this foundation. You can wear it for months, plus it's super matte and it covers the facial withering and eyebrow loss that plagues most women because of the lead poisoning. The practice of whitening one's skin with lead or mercury dates back to the ancient Greeks and Romans, but it was really the 16th century Europeans that got the ball rolling. Most people knew full well that lead and mercury in cosmetics was harmful, but they just did it anyway. Many believed it was a woman's duty to achieve physical enhancement, and that her real value was in her beauty. Aren't we lucky that's not an issue anymore? Anyway, let's just keep putting on more, 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 more and more. The thing is, even with the threat of illness or death, it wasn't so easy to stop using the makeup either. The cycle of white lead ceruse use could be vicious. Over time, the lead oxide would slowly poison you, while the hydroxide and carbonate in white lead would literally eat away at your face. A person's skin would turn thick and shriveled and take on a yellow or gray cast. And the only way to hide your disintegrating face? Put on more makeup. But after years of accumulating lead in your body, amnesia, seizures, coma, and death were highly likely. Maria Gunning, the Countess of Coventry, died just such a death in September 1760. A great beauty from humble Irish beginnings, the Countess felt immense pressure to maintain her pale, youthful visage. After all, it was her good looks that got her through the door in British society, and that meant applying thick layers of white ceruse all over her face. The Countess died at the young age of 27. The official cause of death was listed as tuberculosis, but all the gossip was that the makeup had destroyed her immune system and allowed her to become susceptible to the disease. Let's finish up our look. Now that we are toxically white, we're gonna add some mercuric sulfide, or vermilion, to give us a more healthy flush. Except that mercuric sulfide can cause tooth loss, gum disease, and other organ problems. It's not ideal, but as a 19th century beauty writer said, A woman with a bad complexion has no right to inflict her misfortune on everybody else. It is an unpardonable offense against good taste. And here we have the finished look. Oh, and if your teeth fall out, your skin turns gray, you suffer memory loss, your body hair falls out, your lungs stop working, you go blind, your skin gets eaten away, you can't walk anymore, or you die, that's totally normal and will be covered in my next tutorial, Contouring Your Lead Poisoned Face. What's a 16th century girl to do? If this face was your ticket to a better, albeit shorter, life, what would you choose? This has been your Morbid Minute, and remember, you will die. 
brought to you with support from People's Memorial Association and the Co-op Funeral Home, and donations from viewers like you. Sponsor me, lead-based cosmetics.